Welcome back to Between Bells. New York's first ever immersive cannabis experience opened its doors to the public in October. The Stone Age takes participants through 9,000 square feet of installations, all designed to cultivate awareness of the cannabis lifestyle. And cannabis reporter Chloe Aiello is joining us now on site at the Stone Age exhibit to tell us more. I'm very jealous of this assignment. Chloe, take it away. Thanks, Hannah. Well, I'm joined now by the Stone Age co-founders, Sasha Perlman and Liz Santana. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Immersive experiences are all the rage right now. So what makes this one unique? This was, for us, the only time to launch this amazing cannabis experience. Cannabis is all about building community. And during a time where we're coming off of COVID and people have been stuck inside, so we're all really looking for an opportunity to connect with each other. So we really wanted to use this platform as a way for people to do that. Now, I know that this experience takes participants through several states of being. What are those and how is cannabis a connecting thread throughout? Yeah, so as Liz was saying, cannabis is really about community. And we wanted to create an experience that was universally relatable despite your relationship with cannabis. So states of being include creativity, arousal, euphoria, things that we can connect on, even though our experience with cannabis can be vastly different or not at all. Now, the Stone Age is about more than just art and Instagram. It's about activism, too. So what can you tell me about that? Yeah, we would be remiss to not speak about mass incarceration and the impact that the war on drugs has had specifically on communities of color. So we created this state of being awareness. And within this state, we have curated artwork from formerly and currently incarcerated men and women um, from across the country. We've also created a makeshift prison so people can really step into the footprint of what it looks and possibly feels like to be in a cage, all of the victims of the war on drugs getting caught with a joint or even a gram of weed on them and being forced to sometimes lifetime sentences in prison. We're also really excited to uh, announce our partnership with Last Prisoner Project, which has been really instrumental in helping bring awareness to the men and women that are sitting in prison because of cannabis crimes and helping them with everything from expungement to legal fees to reuniting families and getting people reintegrated back into society. Now, as you both well know, New York is in the process of legalizing cannabis, and there's a lot of momentum on the federal level as well. So why is right now something like this an educational exhibit uh, the right time for this type of exhibit? I mean, this for us is the only time. We need people to understand that this is a beautiful plant that should be celebrated and to be in a, an area where it's not legal and yet people are making billions of dollars off of it, it's, it blows our minds. Yeah. It's for New York in particular being the, the epicenter of the world and the spectrum of culture and art and, and community here. But in particular, as federal legalization continues to come to more and more markets, we have a responsibility to create conscious consumerism. It's not all products are created equal. People just don't have a very strong baseline as far as information. So we really want to become a platform to create that baseline information so that they can go out and get more information, go into a dispensary and have educated buying experiences. Now, this is your flagship uh, pop-up here in New York, um, but you are planning on launching other Stone Age exhibits uh, next year. So what will make these unique city to city? I think, well, legalization is one really strong component for us. Being in an area that's either just legal, legalized or almost legal, legalized, excuse me, is really important just because there's a lack of education and information usually in those markets. Um, and then also just access to the amazing artists, the amazing um, producers that we've had here in New York City is really important because the space really celebrates art. Absolutely. And, you know, finally here, cannabis is currently not legal for sale in New York, although New York, as we have discussed, is in the process of legalizing. Do you recommend that people consume cannabis before coming to this exhibit? We recommend that everybody chooses their own adventure. Uh, we don't, you know, we're not proponents for you must consume cannabis, you must be high. This is a dope experience regardless of your relationship with cannabis. And this is really for everybody. So... Is it awesome high? Absolutely. Is it awesome not high? Absolutely. 
And finally, while we have the time here, I want to talk a little bit about this room that we're standing in. What is behind us and how does this relate to the you know, awareness and activism aspects of this? We, uh, we really wanted to drive empathy in this space and through the art and through this environment of really stepping foot inside of a prison experience. So we have a prison yard, we have these amazing um, visual representations of time through the tick marks of days that turn into months, that turn into years and sometimes lifetime sentences, what, what a bed looks like. Um, the, you know, you go to the bathroom and sleep in the same room. And then there's this incredible sculpture here. Um, so this was by an artist named Distort. He actually casted the body parts of formerly incarcerated men and women. Um, he himself is formerly incarcerated as a result of cannabis. And the idea here is that people are reaching out to loved ones. So it's like reaching out for freedom, reaching out for love, reaching out for family. So it's a really beautiful expression of that longing and that that humanity that we were emulating here in the space. Thank you ladies both so much. That's Hi. Sasha Perlman and Liz Santana, co-founders of the Stone Age. Hannah, toss it back to you. Great job, Chloe. And thanks to Sasha Perlman and Elizabeth Santana, co-founders of the Stone Age and to Cheddar senior reporter Chloe Aiello, of course.